All right, vlog. I'm gonna wrap up this video. The munchkins is already sleeping in bed. It's a few minutes to midnight. I'm probably just gonna watch maybe one episode of Downton Abbey. I'm, I think, on season five, and I think there's six seasons. And um, I know it's an old TV movie series, but I'm only now watching it. So I've been like addicted to it. So I'm gonna watch maybe one or two episodes and then go to bed. Tomorrow, I am pulling out my suitcase from the closet. I'm gonna pack. And I'm also gonna bring out all of my art and reorganize it. I'm gonna have to take all of my vending things out before the day ends and load up my car and put everything in my car because we are vending. And then I'm leaving. Everything is like so crazy. I'm gonna have to also pack up Ebby's bag too. Morning. Sit down. Thank you, Jesus, for my food. Bless me, make me strong. Amen. Enjoy your food. It's a few minutes after nine and we have a very busy day so please eat enjoy your food hey good morning workbench here we go last full day at home to make any art for three days of ending in LA the next upcoming three days and Hawaii next weekend I wanted to show you my glow-in-the-dark stars they're so cute for my matching glow-in-the-dark moon. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to put this together. So cool. All right, so this is everything I made yesterday. I thought I made more. Maybe I did. Um, so the moon, the glow-in-the-dark moon and stars. And then I made another monstera because I'm making a lot of sun catchers. Anyway, the... Glow in a dark pigment, as you see, they're there. They were a little chunky, but I decided to kind of let it be because it really does remind me of a moon. And when it goes in the dark, there's all these chunky specks in it, which I think is super cool. So I just let that happen. And it turned out really cool. I'm gonna see what this looks like. I should have looked at it last night, but anyway, it's gorgeous it's definitely different from the last one i oh. made i just like went in the sun and brought it in and you can already see how it glows look at that it looks like a moon moon oh my gosh it's super cool looks like a galaxy so i think it's pretty cool here we are here we are back at the workbench before I change and start my day. I wanted to demold these. This is a glow and a dark moon. I'm looking forward to seeing this. Oh my gosh. I'll charge it up outside and then we'll see what it looks like glowing. I have the stars to go with the moon that I'm gonna be making. I'll drill everything today so that I have things to keep me busy over the weekend while I van. Let's see how these Hamza earrings turned out. It's always interesting to me that the Hamza is always facing upside down for jewelry. Every single jewelry piece I have, even the necklace I'm wearing, it's facing this way. But it should be like this technically it should be like this like home decor and everything is this way but jewelry is always this way i don't know let's see it's pretty it's very hard to pour in this mode you need a slow patient small pour okay so i'm gonna pour the back of this I don't know if I'm just maybe gonna do the same green with no glitter, probably. This is the one that I want to demold. Ooh, whoa. This one is interesting the way how it came out. So I wanted a silvery moon and this one has two types of glitter in it. Yeah, it came out pretty cool. And then with the matching stars, which I decided to make clear. 
Ooh, it's gonna look nice, the boots. So I'm gonna let this cure flat. So cool. Wow, this is super cool. I'm gonna make more. This is a very fun bookmark. <laughs> Hi, my little angel. You look like a doll. I'm so glad that you're relaxing after your breakfast. Okay, mommy's gonna change and we're gonna go. I just opened up the container with the Cressela Multicava Blooms. As you see, it's super pink. I'm going to dry it in the microwave for two to three minutes. I have some here. I'm gonna cover it up, put it in the microwave for two to three minutes just to make sure it's really, really dry. And then I think I'm going to create some art with it for the weekend. It is so gorgeous, so pretty. And I just hate having all of my silica stuff on the ground here in my small little studio, but I need it to create my art. So I just kind of deal with it, kind of just piled up here. All right, let's see if it made a difference. Yeah, it's dry. All right, let's make some art with this. I might mix it up with my other jades too. It'll look so cute. I think I'm gonna do a tray and two coasters and some bookmarks, I think is what I'm gonna do. Okay, this is a very tedious process because I have to literally go with my scissors and cut them and place them in the mold. They take forever. I think I'm going to put in some green to make it interesting. And then I'm also going to do the same thing with the bookmarks. That took me almost an hour to do. So let's go ahead and pour the clear and then I'm gonna add the handles in.
my gosh that took me forever to do from cutting all of the blooms to pouring and then going through each mold and moving around the plants to have it uh, in the area that I like it so kind of like spread out that is so pretty so I have two different types of Cressula's blooms in here the multi cava and the obowata I think it's so gorgeous I did two bookmarks and then I filled the back of that monstera I totally forgot that I have handle molds I have three sizes this is the smallest one so I just made it uh, with no glitter and I put ferns in there so when I go back in and do the second layer I'm gonna demold these and then we'll place it in and then I'll pour the second layer and hopefully it'll turn out and then I'll do thin layers of these so I'm really happy and I can't wait to see them all done so pretty but very time-consuming from drying the blooms to cutting them like it takes a long time to get to this point. All right, just went to Trader Joe's to get my focaccia bread for our sandwich for the three days I'm vending and some snacks for the weekend and some things for my cousin in Hawaii that she wanted. So quick break from the house. We're gonna go take Evie to the beach to work out. It's the last day I can take her before I go on this trip. And she's gonna be staying at home all day the next two days so I feel really bad so we're gonna do this for her now and of course myself it's good to take a break especially when I work from home <laughs> So I decided to come to the park instead of the beach because there's more shade as you can see. So we're gonna go from one end to the other. Well, not the whole thing because it's really big, but this is the park that the beach is right next to, which is down here, Santa Monica and the PCH. My vlogging camera is acting up, Evie. I think we might need a new vlogging camera. It was getting jammed. Oh my goodness. My camera was having a meltdown. No vlogging camera, we need you. My vlogging camera is acting up and it was reading lens error like for the last 10 minutes. So I called my local uh, camera shop in Santa Monica. I've never been to it before, but they don't have my vlogging camera in stock and I was about to buy me another one right now but then I jump in the car and now it wants to work I don't know what to do because I have a vending weekend and then I'm traveling and I can't have my vlogging camera acting up so I feel like I should just buy another camera but these cameras cost so much hundreds of dollars so it's not something like fifty dollars and easy to replace uh, financially so I don't know I'm gonna like I'm gonna give this camera another hour and if it starts reading lens error again then I'm gonna order another base camera and it'll come in the mail tomorrow when I'm vending did you have a good time at the park yes it was perfect huh time to go home I love this street so much this street is so Instagrammable I just love this street and the houses on this street is gorgeous that's so strange that my camera for 10 minutes at the park was reading lens error and jamming and not wanting to power on and as soon as I get back to the car it works again I'm not too sure what to do so I have vegan chicken tenders from TJ's and then I wanted to make my Mana Ish version, which is Lebni on the top with Zatar olive oil mixed and then placed on top of the Lebni. And I usually put a Kawi cheese in the center, but this time I wanted to try plant-based cheese to see if I could get away with doing plant-based cheese, even though if Lebni is still dairy.
and I'm not mad at it. I mean, you can tell it's a different type of, of cheese taste-wise, but I mean, if I just got rid of the levni from here, then this whole thing would be vegan. It's good. Mmm. Time check. 2.15. I need to edit a video, then I'm going to pull out my suitcase. I have my client to teach virtually later on this evening. I don't know about filming today. Maybe I might just film when I come back. Because that would require me to put on makeup. But I like giving myself a break if I'm just working at, from home. Because when I'm dancing in Vegas, I'm like full makeup, sweating, with a face mask on, dancing. It's just like so bad for my face. So I'll be here. Time's ticking. There's so much to do. All right, time check. It is 4.40. I just finished editing for the vlog channel. And I got ready really quickly. I just have my hair pulled up with my earrings. I have my potting bench set up. I'm gonna just do a quick planting with Julian with the three plants that I shared on Thursday's check-in. I wanna set them up before I leave for this trip. So I feel bad if I like leave my collection and they're just sitting. So it's just gonna be a short planting with Julian. I'm gonna take care of that. And then we're gonna start bringing my vending things out from the side of the house. I do need to put it in my car before the sun goes down, but I do teach my client very shortly. So I'm gonna bang out this video and then at some point edit another video pull out my suitcase i do want to start packing tonight i told my grandma i'm really gonna not bring much because i have so many things from my childhood at my grandma's house i want to bring back with me so not much to pack okay i just finished filming for the main channel i'm gonna put away the plant babies and i'm gonna start bringing all of my things out for vending and then teach my client of the day then we'll load it up in my car okay enjoy your food why are you looking at me like that okay okay first load is in i have my tables i have my little st stool that i like to sit on my tripod for pictures i don't know how else like the best way to transport my rolling rack so it's in the Amazon box and then I have my TV table that's foldable my newest thing and then under here I have uh, my sheets my cactus blanket and I have my displays in this bag so that's everything in the first load now here's the things that I take to Sunday market my tent my foldable chair in this Daiso bag is for the tent so the side walls and the canopy and then if it's windy then I have my uh, tent weights so these are extra things that I don't need to bring when it comes to vending downtown in the basement it's so much easier just photographed a bunch of my new sun catchers that I made when I vended last time for my Instagram I have to post pictures tonight before I sleep I'm gonna teach my client of the day virtually. I'm gonna load up the first load into my car for vending and then eat something. And then I need to drill all of my artwork so that I have things to make and keep me busy while I'm vending over the weekend. Also, I just brought out the suitcases. So my art suitcase and then my suitcase for my things. Sit, 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 sit. Okay, so I just demoted the handles and it's still curing but i wanted it to also cure with this tray so i just have my little silicone cups keeping it held up so it doesn't sink down because it's still soft um, but before i sleep tonight i'm gonna try to see if i can pour the second layer it's so pretty and then i'm gonna go in and pour a thin layer to these three pieces now
Okay, so I put salmon on the grill, zucchini, and I have corn on the cob. These vegetables was before I went to Vegas, so I wanted to cook them. I'm gonna eat this with some leftover rice. And then I need to tackle all of this and a few, I think two moons that I made, I need to drill them. So I have art projects to do over the weekend. So I'll do that after I'm done eating dinner. Alright, so everything is drilled in here. This will keep me busy all weekend long. While I sit down, I can make art. Okay, it is 10.05. There's nothing for you, Abby. I need to do the last layer of clear on the tray. And then if I have any leftovers, I'll make earrings. And then I'm going to edit one video for the vlog and go to sleep. But you already got your B-O-N-E and you're not going to get another one.
tray looks really nice. So here it is. The tray is complete. And I still don't know what you want because you already got what you got, Evie. You can't get anything else. Oh, another look. I just like, oh my goodness. I can't wait to demold this. This tray is so gorgeous. And I have the matching coasters. So pretty. You can put your jewelry, your perfumes on here. Like your makeup. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty.